Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Share our opinion on what's going on. Before we do that, watch out for spam. What's up in the comments down below? Feel free to join VIP to be alerted whenever we get in and out of plays. Also, get your free stock from down below as well, guys. Hit me up for a consolation, a phone call, uh, or whatnot. 15 minutes, 30 minutes. Do whatever you got to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, guys. Get right into it. So as we know, guys, today was all over the place very very mixed market you know expected though like i told you guys the unexpected can happen during times like this you wouldn't be surprised hell at the market i told you guys prepare for the fake uh bull bullish moments within today i just know how these guys could get i know all their moves i know all the tactics wouldn't be surprised if things you know shoot up way above expectations just for a short period of time just to come right back down crash your harder than what most expected guys because this is exactly the screens they're trying to pull right now i could see uh yeah things getting i could see things getting real real rough uh real real rough guys most people don't see it coming or acting like it it won't come but i'd rather be prepared for it and know it's uh definitely is on the verge of happening then it then then they're not being prepared and saying oh everything's good we ain't got to worry about nothing and hell you going long on something and the bottom fall out of everything that's all i had babe them was all the quarters i had goes back to the bouncing house before we go Go ahead. That was all of them. So as we know, guys, uh, the Dow falls for a fifth day despite emergency backstops of Silicon Valley Bank. We know Silicon Valley Bank had collapsed. I told you guys it could be a domino effect of a lot of other banks start to collapse as well. I mean, this is just, you know, some, it could be happening and it could not be happening. We just want the news. A lot of this news, in my opinion, be fake. Like, they have things that come out sometimes that just to have a narrative to control the overall market or to you know push it in the direction that they want to go in so anyways uh stocks mix bank stocks um not that right there right here there we go so banking crisis has escalated guys ahead of cpi inflation report so um Dow Jones futures were higher ahead of Tuesday's open as the banking crisis continued to escalate with two large bank failures in recent days, SVB Financial and Signature Bank. Meanwhile, Swab stock plunged 11% on Monday on growing liquidity fears while Tesla shares climbed after the company ramped up hiring at its Gigafactory in Texas. So uh you guys know we had uh betted against tesla since 210 all the way down to 166 it came exactly down to the price target where i expected it to guys and i'm expecting to possibly even fall more this right here is just going to trap in a couple of loans before you know dropping that hammer on it again and now and say oh i thought it was gonna drop hey it could go to 200 hell but i do believe this thing is going to drop again and you already know but i have made money off tesla i didn't alert it on friday but i had got in it after making all that money on last week because I knew I said it ain't done and I don't want to miss a big drop. So I made a thousand dollars off of it this morning, seven hundred dollars, and I got right back in. That position started to go against me. Um went up to one seventy four, one seventy five, but I'm not worried about it. I could lose the whole thousand, fifteen hundred I put on it and still be up significantly from what I made last week on Tesla. That's my take on it, and that's how I look at it, guys, and my standpoint. And you have to look at it from the standpoint that you're currently in. If you ain't already made money on Tesla, you need to be very, very much more concerned conservative and have a risk tolerance of where you want to cut losses at being for the fact that i already made money off a of play i'm okay with losing my whole hundred percent of the investment if i already made ten thousand eight thousand dollars off a of play and only going back in with a thousand real free game guys but anyways let's go ahead and get right back into it see what's going on like i told you guys i'm sure my opinion last ride amc and i believe people you know that's stuck in it and it's been in it for a while still buying shares ain't getting to options yet it may be one last ride that uh a push significant push is going to happen not saying it's going to those crazy numbers that you guys been saying and even at the beginning of this thing i never said nothing about i always you know said them crazy numbers nah i'm not talking about i'm just saying a significant push for people that understand logic and realism like realistic things that could happen right that's what a significant push gonna come in for the ones in option you know ain't no telling what you're gonna make you're gonna make a crazy percentage but the ones overall shares you know y'all be looking for uh some some wild stuff to happen which it could but you got to be uh factoring all the manipulation and what's really going on here and what's that you know state so anyways if we go ahead and take a look guys 
this week is about to be a, a, a wild week, guys. You definitely want to be on your P's and Q's, my VIP members. Be on your P's and Q's. Don't try to go too crazy this week. You just need to be really protecting yourself this week. I'm letting you guys know what's up. I'm letting you know what I'm doing. Hayes is protecting itself. Might take a couple of plays, deals, and dabble, but I'm most definitely about protecting myself and watching out for this mixed market. Because like I say, guys, the unexpected can happen during these times like this, especially when the masses of so many people is expecting a certain outcome. You know what I mean? So anyways, so anyways, if we go ahead and take a look, on um, uh, AMC sitting at five dollars and forty-five cents. I love how uh, it spreads. It took off, shot up. The, uh, and after hours, it's having a lot of volatility, shooting down, shooting up, shooting down, shooting up. Let me know that something is brewing. If it spreads, take off. AMC definitely is gonna catch up with it. Uh, if AMC take off, same thing, vice versa. But anyways, that don't necessarily always gotta happen. But you know. Right, but anyways, uh, if we take a look at AMC, it's up 1.4 percent today. I do believe AMC had its decline. It, 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 it fell, it fell, it fell, it fell, and I just sat and I, I did, and I love it because I didn't, you know, have a uh, have a budge to get in it at all during the fall. But now I see something different. I could tell by the market sentiment. I just sniff it that this thing could possibly shoot back over the sixes. And that's what I mean. Some people be like, oh, AMC, this, oh, we making money. These dollar movements, these 50 cents movement, these $2 movement, it's money being made, serious money being made, 100%, 200%. So it's like, that's just like AMC going from six to 12, six to 13, the type of money we making over here in options with this. So that being said, that's what I mean by, you know, that's why the play is still in action. It's a volatile play. Playing it on the uh, right side could definitely uh, print print for sure and we're gonna kill them this time with amc because as we buy these calls this time we already know they ain't gonna let it run but so high we're gonna hit them with the puts since they want to drag it down we're gonna make a buttload of money while they dragging it down same thing gonna happen whenever they do this reverse stock split finally they want to play they want to play us we'll just have to go go with them you want to either make the money or not make the bread like get your money back and my thing is once they do that reverse stock split and it run a little bit because, like I said, if we don't get a nice, decent run prior to that happening, the run will happen after the split. And once it happens, it's not going to be a big run. It's just going to be a mini run to trap in more buyers, and it's going to drop significantly. And that's when I'm going to be right there to load up on puts and, and make crazy, crazy amounts of money, guys. Because you already know. You already know, guys. And if they do let it run, we'll be there for that too, right? Either way. Either way. Either way. So you already know, guys, what to do. Edge Boy on Instagram. Uh, join VIP. Do whatever you got to do. Hit me up for a 15 minute, 30 minute phone call. Watch out for spam, WhatsApp. Watch out for that fake Instagram page. Only got one Instagram page. It's a B Hayes only page. Uh, you already know, guys. I love y'all. We out and God bless y'all.